might be the babies. How you doing? Welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World The Game. Where we're back for like the second time in a week. Do you know why? Because there's something cool happening right now. There is a new tournament creature that we're going to be trying to unlock today. Or oh, well, you know, we might be able to unlock it. You never know. Chances are very low though. Um, which is, as Jim Kirkland would call it, the... Dynanicus or Dyn Dynonicus. Is he called Dynanicus? I think he calls it Dynanicus. Anyway, I was going to say, but he discovered it, so we call it Dynonicus. But anyway, <laughs> um, he's vastly knowledgeable over dinosaurs than I am, so I'll take his word over it. Uh, so we're going to check out this, but before we do, uh, before we participate, now I like how they've changed the pack style. Um, we've got a little bit to do this. I've got 20 odd hours. Now, whenever there's a pack for the lottery, always do it. Um... So, because even, I mean, what, I spent 2,000 there, right? Um, and in all, if I win it, it's more than 2,000 bucks to, like, just buy the pack itself. It's like 5,000 if 10,000. We'll have a look. Uh, oh, oh, we're getting our prizes first, guys. Don't worry. Is that, is that like a Dilophosaur Gen 2 pack? I think it is, isn't it? Is that Dilophosaur Gen 2 pack? It is. I thought it was like five quid for that. You know what, Ludia? I might have given you five quid for that. If it meant I unlocked Dilophosaur Gen 2, I would have done that. However, I think you put the packs at, what, like, 100 quid? To, and it probably not to even unlock it, so, no. <laughs> yeah, it's, you look for a, for a, what is it? I mean, these are the regular sort of solid gold creatures. Is it a solid gold creature? Ooh, it's not. It's not. Solid gold plus. Is it a solid gold plus? It's a solid gold plus creature. So even to have a chance to get it, it's 35,000. And if you want to buy Aaron, it's 50,000. So for 2,000 VIP bucks or VIP points, whatever you want to call it, loyalty credit points for you, um, you, you basically get it. So, well, you, 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 I mean, it's very low chance, but it's, I tell you what, I have won my fair share of the actual packs on those lotteries. So I'd say it's kind of worth it. Also, not sponsored. Uh, this is, it's not G Fuel. Oh my god, what's he drink? Actually, I had these guys uh, get in touch with me. Advanced GG. Um, and they, they do like... It's, it's just like Game of Fuel. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. We've got loads of Sakasukas to unlock. So we can get some VIP points. Or not VIP points. Um, some uh, boss DNA. That's the one. Uh, so we'll put these all in. Uh, yeah, they got in touch with me. Like, hey, uh, like, I realized he'd actually messaged me a while ago. And he said that he was a fan of my... Um, What's it called? My, uh, aisle videos. And I've been watching for a while. And I was like, oh, okay, this is weird. I'm getting like a, a company message me about my aisle videos, like actually talking and not just being corporate. Um, and they sent me a bunch of stuff, which I'm really, um, I'm really, uh, I'm blessed, <laughs> really uh, appreciative of. Um, and I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm just having it now. Uh, this is the cotton candy, although you can't see it. It's bright blue uh, in here. And even if I took the lid off and you looked in it, you wouldn't even see it. It's that blue because of the color of the thing. Anyway, point being, it's actually really nice. Um, like most G fuels are quite bitter and tart tasting afterwards. Uh, and this one's uh, this one's actually really nice because G fuel did send me stuff and then they never contacted me again. So I, I, I don't think that's happening. So I can be honest about G fuel and say, actually, it is a bit tart and like... Ugh aftertaste. Whereas this one, look, watch. Mm, it's nice. <laughs> Although, again, still not sponsored, but if I had to choose out of both of them, I would choose this one. And the fact is, this is, uh, I think they, they, it's like from green tea extract is where they get the caffeine. So there's no sugars and stuff in it. Not sponsored, like I said, just drinking it. I thought, you know what? They've sent me it. I'll actually try it today because it's been uh, two days when I have, you know, they sent it to me and I feel a bit bad that I haven't even tried it. <laughs> so I am trying it. Um, so yes, let's have a look, see if we can get any books in, in the trade offers. That's terrible. We're not getting that. Uh, what is with all the coins? I'll take that. Okay, so we're down one book. So, eh, not so good so far. But maybe, ah, there we go. 161. So up 111 books so far. Oh, 110, because we were down a little bit. Uh, and it's, oh, heck yeah. Not even down VIP points. We got those back. I love, the trades are so nice. I like trades. They're good. <laughs> so hopefully, uh, I was planning on doing, um, uh, I shouldn't really tell you, because then you'd be like, well, I wanted that. 
<laughs> planning on doing the aisle uh, for this weekend. However, life got on the way. I ended up having to do loads of things. So I really only have time to do this. Uh, like Just World the Game and Just World Live. But hopefully two uploads is good. I kind of wanted to do um, uh, sort of looking at the Camp Cretaceous uh, clip that came out. But then last night I realized I wouldn't have time today to cover it. So I was like, ah, I'll just upload the clip. It'll be fine. <laughs> we'll just do this today. Um, Cause oh man, uh, life it, life happens, man. It do, it does. It happens and it, it just doesn't stop. You have to keep on going. So let's get some more food. Put that in. Uh, we're about a clock out. Oh, we got two minutes to get. Well, we're not getting any of these, are we really? Um, and yeah, not getting any of that. We do have the battle stage infinite, which you might as well do just to get that out over the way. Out of the way. Uh, ooh. These are always super tough battles. And the best thing I can really do is amphibian. And if you look at my top creatures, are there any amphibians? No, not a single one. No, terrible. Uh, but we do have Gorgo. Uh, and I don't really know if I want to put Gorgo out first. I think it's be I think I kind of have to put Metrophodon and then go for one block. I have to. Because he will switch to Dina Charis and probably kill me. Um, and then after that, I need... Uh, I need two Metrophodons, really, but um, I don't really have that. And then I'm going to have to go for Udon. This isn't guaranteed. And if I don't win this, fair dues. Fair dues. I don't win this. But... Look at that. I can kill him in two hits. I can kill him in two hits! But he's going to switch. So I'm okay. I'm okay with that, yeah. Oh my god. Go for a hit, please. Why? I'm gonna go for two block. Please go for a block. I mean, we might as well quit at that point. I think we just haven't won. We just haven't won. Uh, that was unlucky. I guess I sh maybe I should have just went for two reserves. Because if I had, um, I would be in a really good position here to kill him. Like, uh, like that. But Diplocalus is going to have three. And if he's got 3,000 attack, 369, yeah, he's killed me. And yeah, so that that's it. Game, set, match. Used my best creatures. Didn't win it. Unfortunately, it's a look at the draw. We'll do that another time. But really, what we're here for... Ooh, we're gonna, oh, there you go. New events uh, have just clocked in. But really, we're here for this. This is what we're here for. So last time I did this... Uh, ooh, yeah. What are the, what are the, the missions, actually? Um, because we could probably do that. So, pet 10 creatures. Okay, well, that's easy. Uh, fuse to herbivores. Use 30 carnivores. And fuse to legendary creatures. So, use 30 carnivores. Okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll make sure to get that out of the way at least to do that. So, <laughs> there's the Guanlongs. Now, depending if it is the same as the last tournament, this could be quite horrendous. Um... Uh, yeah, let's use you. We'll see. So, hopefully... I mean, it's li literally over two days, this tournament, I think. Started yesterday and... Or maybe three days. Oh, there we go. There, so, we're back to normal now. The other tournaments I did was, like, super crazy at uh, Hatch uh, Hatching League. And actually, I read some comments. And the comments said, Oh, Beaver, well, that's because it's averaging your team. Um, which you're right... It probably was, but that's not the way it normally is. In fact, this is the way it normally is. So I don't know whether it was a different algorithm or or God knows what it, whatever it was. And actually, I'm very overpowered. Um, I I might as well just two, four, six. Well, one, two, three. Can I kill him in three? Yeah. I can. Oh my God, Quanlon gets a kill. Hey, who remembers the day? Or the days of that guy who was, like, calculating how many kills each creature got. I think he died. I think he... <laughs> I think he died, like, <laughs> just trying to complete that task. I'd love to know what happened. He said I, he definitely got up so far. I remember messaging me and saying, oh, well, I've got, I've got up so far. Um, and then I assume uh, he just got bored. Pro the realistic answer is he got bored, which is, like, why would you? <laughs> Mm. Obviously. Heresy is what that is. Heresy. Uh, he better still not be subscribed. I'll unsubscribe him. <laughs> uh, but 
Um, we're going to be getting, I think, loads of events because coming up to Jurassic um, World the game. And, oh, is it Jurassic World Alive? Jurassic World Alive, I think it's... Ooh, is it three-year anniversary? I think it's a three-year anniversary of Jurassic World Alive. Um, and maybe Jurassic World the game as well. It's coming up to Jurassic World the game's... God, it's it, it's it's a long, it's a big one, it's it's a friggin' big one because they've been since 2015, so six years, six three years for Jurassic because it, it was supposed to be three years in between each movie, but unfortunately because of uh, said events, um, we were supposed to have Jurassic World Dominion in like one month. Just think, in if everything went according to plan and we had, there was no pandemic in the world in a month's time. We would be seeing Dominion. The toy line would be out. The new toy line would start to be showing. We would probably be getting a soft launch of a new app game. I assume. I assume there would have been a new app game. Uh, or even a new game would probably be coming out very soon. Uh, teasers would have been out for it. Uh, like Jurassic World Evolution 2 or whatever was, you know, teased. Uh, or at least leaked. Um, the, I don't know what it was called. It wasn't Jurassic World Evolution 2, but it was it was a Jurassic World game title was apparently leaked uh, by somebody at Frontier. Um, and everything that they leaked did end up coming true. So at some point, we are expecting, or at least, you know, if that's... I would say it's probably true. I haven't heard anything from Frontier. Um, and I yeah, actually, I haven't heard anything from Frontier in a long time. Everybody who I used to have contact with at Frontier left. Uh, so, so um, not that it's anything bad on Frontier. They did assign a new person. Uh, I can't, I can't remember what she's called as the community manager. Um, they sent out a nice email, but then since then I haven't heard diddly squat, and I think that's because, oh, I, I'm pretty sure I clicked that. Oh, well, anyway, um, they're pushing their planet zoo. That, that's the main thing. They're, pl they're pushing their planet zoo, and unfortunately, uh, planet zoo is kind of is a, is a game where you need to plow. Um, hours and hours and hours into it. I, and I feel as though Planet Zoo isn't, like, it's not a game really about the animals. Planet Zoo is a, is a, is an architecture game. That's what it is. Because anybody could make these creatures or animals and put them in, like, a bog-standard thing. But the appeal from Planet Zoo comes from the exhibit uh, and the, the overall zoo itself. Um, and... Like, unless you're prepared to plow, like I said, hours and hours and hours into it, then you're you're not gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna get much growth, I don't think. <laughs> I mean, if you look at all of the Planet Zoo people on YouTube, um, do they have, like, bear zoos? Do they have, like, oh yeah, we're just playing for fun. No, well, they do play for fun. What I'm saying is that, I know I went off on a tangent about Planet Zoo, we're just for the game. But what I mean is, um, they're kind of, they're just like... It's all these crazy exhibits and crazy zoos and ideas and... I mean, I'm, I guess, it, you know, if you like the game, that's what you're going to do, right? You're going to come up with all these... You know what, this, these blooming... Ah! There we go. <laughs> Me fingy. I got a boo-boo. <laughs> and talking about spending hours on games. We're talking, we got dressed all the, uh, the game here where I have continuously complained about having to waste my life on it to get to one of the creatures. So I can't talk, really. Um, it, it's just interesting whether anybody's, uh, you know, knows or wants insight on on, uh, on that sort of thing. I think I think it's amazing uh, recently just kind of looking at the, the dinosaur YouTube space as a whole um, to when I first started. Because... There's so many dinosaur YouTubers now that, like, didn't exist when I first started. Like, you know, they, of course, they, they were alive. <laughs> they didn't have channels. Um, so, uh, but it's, it's great. It really has been amazing to see uh, all of these different dinosaurs. Oh, look at that. We're in Survival League already. We're going to do it. Yeah, this is going to be so easy, guys. So easy. Uh, and I'm not missing out on this one. We're going to get it. Uh, so many different dinosaur channels appear Oh, that was close. Not like we're gonna win. Like we're gonna win it. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> we'll tell you what, next time we do a spin like that, I'll check what, what the um the chances are of us actually unlocking. Because I, I think they're very, very low. Uh we'll use Tarbosaur level 20. Let's go for that. Uh so it they like like I said, when I first came on the scene, um, you know, there was only like three. There's only three that I knew of that did dinosaur content. 
Um, maybe maybe four to push, but I really don't think the fourth one uh, came at the when at the start. I think it was afterwards. Um, but yeah, it was just it was me, Connor, uh, best in slot, and poet plays, and that that was it as far as I was aware. Um, when I first started doing, you know, do my, my first ever, uh, Jurassic Park builder. And I kind of want to react to that first video. Uh, that would be, that would be cringe. Cringe. <laughs> but it, I think it, would, it just kind of shows how much, um, like not only has content on YouTube changed because, you know, back then, if I, if I was to upload that video now, it would be like, nobody would watch it. I feel like growing on YouTube now is super hard. Super tricky. Um, and yeah, if you're new to Jurassic World the game and you're watching this video, that's what these are. These videos are not only uh, me getting the best player ever in the world, getting number one dominator. <laughs> but I'm joking. I'm jo uh, stop. You can, I'm, I'm joking. D don't unsubscribe. <laughs> um, uh, but it's just like podcast. Basically, it's just me talking. Um, I can't remember what I was talking about now. That, that's what happens. Uh, so it, dinosaur tubers, yeah, just just the whole the whole sphere of things changing. It's great, it's great to see um, so many other channels come up, uh, like Clayton. Clayton was a was a big one, you know, somebody with a passion that put in loads of time and effort into their videos, and it shows. Like, I mean, that's it. You, you, as long as you've got y your passion, um, you can do anything on YouTube, and that is what YouTube should be. YouTube should be about just having a passion and you're sharing that. And that's what that was with me. Um, you know, I'd play Jurassic Park Builder um, in, in my own... Oh, look, I love this side of Ceratops, the sign of Ceratops. Why does it have such a tiny crest? I mean, I mean, its head, its head in general, in comparison to, like, you know, its, its movie counterpart. It is such a tiny head. What I mean, obviously, it's to do with the rig of Triceratops and stuff. But can I not have just scaled it up? It's so weird. It's so it's it's got like I'm clicking. Damn it! <laughs> it's got like tiny hedge syndrome. Is it? Do I need to clean my iPad? Is that it? Probably, probably. But yeah, like I said, YouTube YouTube should be a place where, you know, you can share your passion with everybody, and that's what helps it grow. But I feel like now I, I don't know what it would be like to try and get an audience, um, and especially to stand out because when I did it. Um, like I said, you know, there was other creators that did dinosaur content. Um, but oh, let's keep going. Let's keep going with these. These um, the code 19s. I was going to say the other word. <laughs> oh, this one's a nice easy one. I could do this one. Yes. Uh, like, you know, like I said, there was, oh my God, how many of those? Uh, there, was, there was like loads of other dinosaur content creators out there. Um, but it, it felt very basic. It felt like, um, you know, and especially YouTube content at the time was literally click record, stop record, and then you're done. Upload the video. Do a, do a little bit of a thumbnail and do, do a video. Nowadays, you can't do that. You can't expect to, you know, I mean, you probably, you can do it, but it's, I don't know. I feel like these days, YouTube's seen as more of a, an entertainment platform rather than just like, oh, well, this guy's made a video. Uh, ooh, we'll, we'll claim that as well. Ooh, we did the code 19 so many times, and we get two more, yes, and more of that, and 18 of that, yes, and keep it going, yes, 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 and let's keep going, we're on survival league, uh, let's crank out the carnivores, because we need to bring out 30 of the buggers, and actually, we should just be using carnivores, shouldn't we? You fool, James, a 921, let's go. So, yeah, uh, I felt like I, um, I brought something different to the table, which was editing in games <laughs> and even even back then it was bare it was bare editing you know maybe like turn tinting the screen red for rage mode or putting like uh an echo on my voice and i i kind of want to see uh i i want to react to that and react to um my original aisle videos because when i when i edit my aisle videos i um i i i think oh i wonder what i did for this one and when i watch a clip of it like the T-Rex progression or whatever. I'm like, wow, I didn't put any music there? I didn't put any edit there? Huh, I would have done that now. So I, 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 it's also just to keep an, an eye on myself because I don't want to burn myself out. Um, 
But I think, the, like I said, the, the aisle is in a position where I, I'm enjoying at the moment, so I don't feel any sort of burnout whatsoever. Which is good. We'll get more aisle videos eventually. Um, but speaking of dinosaur content and anything in, in, of the sort, um, it really feels like there isn't a great deal of dinosaur content that I can kind of cover at the moment. Like, I mean, you know, we went from Jurassic Park Builder days when there was... Only Jurassic Park Builder and Dino Hunt Deadly Shores. Who remembers those? I kind of want to go back to Dino Hunt Deadly Shores. Oh, dear. Because um, I think they still update it. Um, but I don't know how much they update it. I'd love, I'd love to. I don't even know. Do you play on app? Is that what? Because I used to play on Facebook. I think I did play a little bit. In fact, I've got some private videos. So maybe I'll just surprise you one day. And I'll just put up a Dino Hunter Deadly Shores video. And Because I think in that video, I'm like, Oh, we're back at it again. And no, what's that? Another Dino Hunter Deadly, Deadly Shores? So quickly after the other one? Because I think I've recorded both of them, and then I just forgot about the other one, so it'll be dead weird if somebody watches, like, where was the last one? <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I, I kind of want to go back to that. It's a shame that we can't play Jurassic Park Builder anymore. There, there is probably a way to do it, um, to, like, download an APK file or something like that. You probably could, but... Uh, I was kind of tempted for April Fool's to be like, hey, let's play Jurassic Park Builder again. And it would be like a, a five second video of me like, oh, God, it's been so long. And then it would just come up with the game's not... And we, oh, I'm playing Jurassic Park Builder until it crashes or something, you know. There was, there, was a, there was a trend of those videos at some point. It was like playing this game until something happens. Um, but uh, yeah, it's... Yeah, I, I, I feel like now, like, what we got, Jurassic World Evolution, which actually is in a really good spot, uh, considering the game hasn't technically been updated in years. Did I say years? Has it been a year? It has been a year, because Jurassic Park uh, uh, DLC came out oh, a year ago. If not, maybe more. It was like 2019, November 2019, because I, I was invited down by Frontier to that event. That was a great event. We ended up, um, so sort of like they did out a whole space for it. It was like a mini version of the launch of it, kind of, in uh, Las, Las, Las Vegas, uh, California. Um, that was loads of fun. That was loads of fun because we played like some crazy golf afterwards. Um, I got to meet loads of like Planet Zoo people who are like Rudy, um, who was a lovely guy. Um, and I don't know. It was just it was a good time. It was a, it was a really good time. I really enjoyed my time there. Uh, that's something that I don't do anymore is meet people. Uh, in fact, actually, through circumstances, I actually met somebody uh, the other day who recognized me. Um, and I, I was kind of wearing my mask to try and hide who I was. <laughs> um, but they, they recognized me nonetheless. But it was just great, like, talking about Jurassic in person. Um, which I haven't, you know, or, you know, meeting somebody in, in the world of Jurassic uh, fandom. Because I haven't had that in so long. It's been over a year since, you know, events were cancelled and all that jazz, which is such a shame. And hopefully we can go back to some sort of semblance of normality. Maybe. It doesn't seem like this year is going to be the one. Um, but maybe next year. Maybe next year. we like, realistically... Maybe next year is probably the year that 2022, the things go back to normal. And I've never done something like watching the movie, like, because Dominion will be coming out next year, watching the movie with fans. Um, that would be a cool idea. However, I'd be a bit nervous <laughs> just with how many people might show up. Not that, you know, I'm like, oh, you know, I'm scared of people or... Um, you know, it's just generally a, a safety risk. I don't want the possibility of 200 people showing up uh, at an event just for me. And like, I have like, cause I like going to gaming conventions and uh, actual events where there's security. Like I have handlers and stuff like that, which is so weird to say. It makes you sound like a, an animal. He has a handler. <laughs> but basic security and stuff to make sure everything's all right. Um, but if it's something that I, I'd, I'd probably have to uh, arrange that myself. And I've never done that. So may, maybe it's something to look into. Um, but I, I, like something that's organized. But it would also be... Oh, oh, God, they were so close together. That was cheeky. All right, game. They just told me to stay focused. You, you cheeky butt face. 
Oh, I'm on stick focus. What are you doing? <laughs> Well, you shouldn't give me such tiny ones and so close. There you go. Well, we, we did go a, a fair amount of DNA. Could have probably got 500 or 300 or something. But hey ho, we're getting. Oh, that was 10. That we can so many. Just let me do the bloody demonic Christian Dirtbush. Yes, please. More carnivores. Beautiful. I'm gonna wear out my voice, and we haven't even done. I haven't even recorded the Jurassic World Alive version of it, which I'm. I'm also excited about Jurassic World Alive. Um. Not that that's something to be surprised about, but uh, unlocking the new uh, Compi hybrid, the unique one, I'm looking forward to that because it's the only like unique that might be used quite in competitive play and has a, a unique play style. So, and we've had a boost reshuffle. So, you know, if I unlock that, I might be able to legit use it. So I, I want to take boost. I took boost off all my early dominance, but we'll, I'll save that for Just World Alive. You have to watch that video in order to find out more and see more of me. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I don't know. It's not this. I, I don't think it's this. I hope not. <laughs> but I'm, fe I'm feeling good today. I'm feeling good. Um. Oh, I should have went for one. <laughs> Whoopsies. <laughs> oh, I don't have to pay attention to whatever. Great. Great, great, great. I'm having a good time. I've actually cleaned up this area. My office, I've cleaned up. Took... This is the thing, right? When you have a lot of things on display, you don't think about tidying or cleaning, right? So, it was a I spent like a whole day. Um, not yesterday, but the day before, whatever. Just taking everything... I had to take everything off the shelves. And everything off desks. D like, dust it all down. Get the multi-surface cleaner and microfiber cloth and clean everything. This is adult, you know. As a kid, you don't think about this. So this is this is a warning for you guys when you get older and you you know you want dinosaurs on display everywhere. You don't think about actually cleaning it, uh, or maybe you won't. I don't know. If you're like me, you don't want things dusty and dirty. <laughs> but if you're fine with that, it's not a problem. Um, so yeah, we'll kill him, and then I vacuumed everything and then put it all back on and. I haven't, I, like, what I want to do is get a space set up, because that's where I do my airbrushing and stuff for Warhammer. So I want to have a setup where I've got a mic over there, a webcam over there, and another camera over there. So we can, you know, we can play games here. And if we did, like, an all-day live stream, we could play games, and then I could click on my stream deck, and then we could go over to the, the space over there to stream Warhammer and painting and stuff, or, or something else. So... I'm, I'm hoping to get the, this whole area set up so I can do more things than just, you know. And I also want to, uh, I, I, I really kind of want to look more into live streaming and more things that we can do. So when people become members or donate to Super Chats and stuff like that, you know, I can have like pop-ups actually come on screen and things, things like that. I'm speaking my mind here. This is just thoughts that haven't, they're in the nether. They haven't materialized yet. Ooh, oh, that's a perfect squad. Yes, that's a, probably a level 30 concavenator is a little bit overkill, but, you know, it means that we do these battles quicker, and if we do, doing multiple battles quicker, but for 20 cups is better than taking twice as long for 34 cups, if you, if you get my drift. So, he's dead in one anyway, and he goes for two. Oh, I did good, Brachiosaur. Took us five years to, oh, to get Brachiosaur in the game, I think it was, but we did it eventually. He just had to die in Fallen Kingdom. Make everybody uh, cry. And again, don't know why I went for two, but... We don't even have to get. We don't have to pay attention, do we? Do <laughs> I was gonna say it's a good time to be alive, but thinking about what's going on in the world, there's definitely been better times to be alive. <laughs> Depending on where you are in the world, generally it's 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 good to be alive. I think that's that's the consensus. I think. Oh my God, he blocked everything. Bad time. Bad time to be alive. <laughs> oh dear. Right, so we well we're half an hour in, and this I'm impressed. Normally, I get like glitches and stuff. You'll see weird cuts when it comes to recording Jurassic World the game because the connection will break or something. Jurassic World Alive, I don't have that problem, but Jurassic World the game, I do have a problem of that happening. I, like I said, I don't know why that happens. Just, just, um, so we're doing. I, I'm I'm pleased, and it what it did it, it happened to a point where I was like, oh no, I have to record Jurassic World the game. Oh, editing's gonna be a friggin' nightmare because I have to resync every time the connection breaks. Uh, and then even sometimes if it breaks to a point, I have to, oh yeah, I'm, am I doing slow animations? Oh no, it's PVP, you can't speed it up. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> 
uh, like, so I have to, I have to, not only if it breaks so much, I have to actually put it in a different software, re-render it before even putting it into the editing software. I'll do it all that way. Um, also, down in the description below, click it to get your books. Oh, I forgot to check. What were the chances of... Oh, 600 DNA for five books? Steel. Steel. Steel type. Steelix. There you go. Okay, so that was really good. Do we have any other carnivores? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, T-Rex? No. T-Rex is... Oh, Spinosaur Gen 2! I forgot I had that. <laughs> I've, I've, I can barely remember what it's picture. That's that's odd. I don't even remember all the pictures. Don't even remember Iguanodon. Actually, that's a really good team. And it should be pretty easy. Uh, Coolosaurus is the only problem. But once he's out of the way, rest wrestle four like dominoes. So this will be a tournament creature. So likelihood of it having a hybrid, quite high. Number two, okie dokie. Come on, Spino Gen 2. Let's see what you look like. Oh, that's right. It kind of looks like Spine, Spino, Spinerix, whatever it's called, in the other one. So one, two, three. You have to go for three, but that kills it. And the rest is, a, as they say, a walk in the park. <laughs> oh, I don't kill it in one hit. Ooh. Interesting, interesting. You know what? I mean, who has the most attack? Uh, probably the Urantius. So I'll, I'll just go for three. Um, chances of him being able to kill me is very low. Yeah, nah. Even at... Uh, how many attacks? Five? I'd be surprised. Maybe 1,200 damage at five if it went all out, but it, I kill him one hit, so... I might as well just go for four, because chances of it blocking for four is very low. And there you go. Easy peasy! I think we're going to get a load of cups for that. I think because that was a close... Yeah, 35. A max as you can get is 40, I think, so... Oh, Predator League! Predator League League! All right, let's see what are the chances of actually winning the pack. Less than 1%. Okay, so I don't know, because it says even the odds 1%, the rare rogues is less than 1%. So are they all the same percent, or does it get actually even lower the higher you go up? So it's very friggin' low. Very friggin' low will actually win it. Coin. Always win coin. Load of rubbish. <laughs> so let's keep going. Let's get into Dominator League because we're a pro. Pro player. Um, which is the best? Oh, the gl Glithronax. Let's go for Glithronax. Was that a Cenozoic hybrid? Like Glyphodon or whatever it was? It's got to be, right? It's got to be. Yeah, I, I would have thought so. Ooh. Getting super Rajasteger. That's, that's, ooh, that's a bit, bit scary. Hmm, don't know if I like that one. <laughs> oh, been in town today, got myself some Warhammer. Maybe that's why, maybe that's why. Actually, so if anybody is interested, who's watching Russell all the game and also likes Warhammer. Um, so I haven't won a single game and I, oh, I could have killed them in one hit, doesn't I? Uh, again, make the same mistake. Brilliant. Uh, I used to I like collecting Necron. Necrons was my first video. If you've ever seen, uh, you know, my June, my foray into Warhammer. Uh, so I do have a uh, quite a big collection of Necrons. Um, but I haven't played them since 9th edition came out. So, but I went in Games Workshop today. And I was like, ooh, Doomstalkers look cool. It's like War of the Worlds. I want two of those. Oh, oh, what's those like, what they're called? The floaty boys with the, the, the claw slashes and stuff. Oh, well, the destroyers, whatever they're called. I like those ones. And then, ooh, a new Psychomancer. Ooh, I'll take that. <laughs> and because I got an airbrush, I get, like, Necrons would be super easy. Super easy to do. So I'm really looking forward to that. And I barely have any free time. <laughs> Kill it, go for six. Kill it. Kill it like the rest. Yes. Oh, Glyphornax. There you go. You win one, buddy. Victory didn't stay on for two seconds. I was like, we don't get that. So how many? 29? That, that's a decent, decent amount there. <gasps> Ooh, yes. Ooh. Doing good. Doing good. Oh, come on. <gasps> come on. Why? I mean, 10 bucks it reimburses me for two entries. So not bad. Not bad. I'll <laughs> take that. Okay. Um. Why am I really excited? Very happy. Very happy today. Don't know why that is. It's everything. 
I'm in a good mood. Really good mood. I feel like this should be live streamed. I want, I want to talk to you guys. How are you guys in chat? You doing good? <laughs> also, I kind of want to try um, Premiere Ring. So there's a feature in YouTube that I don't have access to yet uh, called cheering. And I, you, you might have seen this in some channels. So in, during streams, you can super chat, you know, donate money uh, and, ha you know, you don't... I guess the, the creator doesn't technically have to respond to it, but if somebody super chats me, I will read it because um, they spent money on that. <laughs> uh, but there's also a feature in, in uh, I don't know whether it's premiering, but even just generally in videos where you can cheer, which is super chatting for a video, which is really good because YouTube, you know, not every YouTuber wants to live stream. But they put just as much effort into video or content creating than, you know, someone would do live streaming. Um, and I think that would like cheering would be an amazing way for people who want to, you know, donate for the, the aisle stuff I do. Because I always get, I get it all the time. People ask me to live stream the aisle. Um, and I always respond with the same kind of thing. And that is that if I was to live stream the aisle, you wouldn't want it. You wouldn't want it because the amount, like for a start, I could be stream sniped. So that could affect it. Um, me, me playing the aisle. Um, and I think, you know, I see it a lot of the time and it's not why I do it, but I, I should have went for loads there. I mean, yeah, I could have ended that battle there. Um, you know, I put loads of editing into it and that's also what makes the aisle the aisle, my, like my series. Um, and I edit out my own funny bits. <laughs> <laughs> that's cringe, delete that. <laughs> that's blue. <laughs> Don't have that in. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, there's, 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 there's reasons why I don't live stream, but I just thought that would, like, the aisle. Um, but I just thought cheering would be a really good way for people to... And, and premiering. Excuse me. I'd love to premiere stuff, but at the same time, I just wonder, like, does it affect the overall video? I might just do it. I might just be like, ah, sodder, let's do it. Ooh, oh, we're doing good. This is good. We're coming up to, uh, Dominate League, and we're going up, like, 15 each time-ish. Another 10, but we're just getting reimbursed. Sweet. Um, I still don't think we've got the, uh, the what do you call it? The carnivore uh, achievement just yet for the using 30 carnivores. I mean, it's 10 battles if we use three each time, but I definitely have used two for you. Oh, Aye! And this might be lights out. Oh, God, this one's a tough one. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, I don't know. Uh, uh, how much can I... Ca I can't just take his level 40, basically. Uh, I can kill it in three hits, but then that leaves me open for a two hit. Uh, do I just quit? Do I just quit here? Uh, I quit here. I quit here. Yeah, there's, there, there's no way. There's no way. I'm, I'll, I'll just be wasting my time. I'll be wasting my time if I... Because I could kill him in three hits, but then he... he I die in two hits. I could switch out Guanlong and then, you know, get myself some time. But that... Ooh, that was... That was dirty. Wait, no, I don't want that. No, I don't want that one. I didn't click for that one. I clicked for, uh... The dirty mint. Yeah, let's go. Right, carnivores. One, two, three. Done. I was I was speed up. I don't know why. It's just one of those things I like to do. All right, so that was really friggin' tough. I think that was an anomaly. I don't think that was normally what we should be facing up against at Predator League. Yeah, look at that. Look at the difference, man. Level 40. I can't do Stega. And press the suit just like level 30 or 20 odd. Bit scary. Bit scary. <laughs> Oh dear. So, how you doing? <laughs> I'm doing great, Beaver. I know you can't read this. <laughs> yeah, so hopefully today will be two videos. It, it, it definitely will be two videos today. Two videos, Josh Ball the Game and Josh Ball the Live. Um, and I, like I said, I really wanted to do the aisle, but just there's been a lot to do. A lot to do. Um, I'm kind of doing like something else on the side. Uh, not to do with YouTube. Um, and I, I had a thought come to me. Pop into my my big brain. Uh, <laughs> my monk brain. Um, and 
I gotta stop. Oh, I didn't realize I've froze. Oh, hold on. I gotta stop recording. I don't know what's happened. I don't know. Hold on. We're gonna we're gonna be. Hello. Is anybody there? Help! And we're back. <laughs> I'm glad I caught that. I got. I can see myself there. And I can see myself there in OBS. Now, normally, I think a lot of streamers they have like a separate screen so they can see themselves. I had a lot to say and I've forgotten what it was. Uh, yes, YouTubers. Uh, so changing their their style. Um, and I think a, a lot of them they try to. I don't know. I'm not not talking about anybody in particular here. Just in general, I think, you know. Oh uh, yeah, let's go for an interrupt, man. Let's go for an interrupt. Let, let's have some fun. Let's just like kill everything in one hit. Um. You see the growth, like like with me, you've seen me go from Jurassic Park builder to, and the I like to where the aisle is, and and I like to do other stuff as well. Um, a lot of videos that I've in, I've enjoyed doing in the past uh, are not video game related per se, or at least they're not let's plays. Like I'm not playing a game in them. So like interviewing Jim Kirkland, the Jeff Goldblum thing I got to do, uh, the Sonic statue in Japan, uh, even going to Insomnia or EGX it was dressed as the blow up T Rex. Uh, like those things are loads of fun and but they're still like tied to the channel uh, so like swimming with basking sharks you know we play hungry shark on the channel so it makes sense um, but I think a lot of the times I think YouTubers they, they, they or at least with YouTube you can't you kind of grow to a point where you you want to try other things and that's great but I think it's also you've got to keep in mind what what who your audience are and what they are and what they what they want to expect because i think a lot of youtubers get to a stage where they they kind of forget what their audience like um by and you try new things and then when those things don't work out because it's different from what your audience like um and i think this applies to people who or at least content creators that create content for like one game uh and then they're kind of like pigeonholed into that um and the I don't know. I feel like I've been really lucky because I could have I could have been in a situation where I'm just doing Jurassic World the game. That's that's send help. That's all I could do. <laughs> um, but I don't know. I, I I think I've always I've I've always had this channel as it it will be just doing what I enjoy, and I've been very lucky that no matter what I do. Oh, hold on, hold on. We've got we got to we got to get some other DNA. Let's get some other DNA. Let's get that. Let's get that on the go. We should definitely fuse two, two hybrids, uh, two legendaries, because I think I can get instant fuses. And I don't think I, mm, I think I want to save them, depending on when they refresh, because I don't know whether it's a week once you do it or whether it's every week they refresh. Because we could instantly get two fuses and get some, you know, boss DNA uh, for, um, for for the 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 you know the actual boss. But then, at the same time, I want to save those fuses if we want to get level 40 Deinonychus when we get it on Sunday. Is it Sunday when we unlock it? Something like that. Oh, da, 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 that was close. Didn't almost get it. <laughs> We're going to do it this time, baby. We're, yes. And we, didn't, we barely got any DNA for that. <laughs> but we got a perfect. Beautiful, yes. Also, yeah, look, we got the interrupter uh, sky thing. So that's pretty cool, although it doesn't really do much. doesn't really serve much purpose. There you go, 30 super raptor DNA and 30 of the other DNA. Sweet. Uh, did we do the... Th yeah, 30 carnivores. 50, yes. Get in. Uh, so we need a pet. We've got to go to the T-Rexes. Let's quickly pet our T-Rex. <gasps> Where are you, cutie? There you are. A pet. And a pet. And a pet. And a pet. We're going to do that five more. And a pet. And a pet. And a pet. And a pet. Oh, we're almost there. And the last one. Woo. There we go. And how much was that? 18. Beautiful. I'll take that coming soon. We've got something else. Well, I think it didn't actually work there correctly. But it, oh, yeah. Now, so we don't need to do carnival. So we can just do this. Um, and let's put in another interrupter because we're, we're, I think in two or three mobiles we're basically into Dominate League and then we just kind of want to stay there. Stay in Dominate League. Uh, I think it's probably a thousand cups maybe to, to probably stay in there. Maybe even less. Uh, ooh, a bit tricky. Oh, I guess they're amphibians, but interrupter's got so much attack that I can pretty much kill them in two hits. And so much health that these guys are not going to be not going to be an issue at all. At all. We got this in the bag. 
too. Yeah, yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good, guys. We're really good. Really good. Also, I, I, I needed to... Oh, I didn't dust this off. Oh, I didn't dust out my mic stand. No, there's loads of dust on it. Oh, I didn't go through all. Where's that microphone? I've seen it all downstairs. I have to... After I record this video, I'm going to clean that because that's going to bug me. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, it's quite interesting, actually. Because um, we had uh, Whitney's sister stay with us. Um, and she she sort of lived in the Philippines her whole life. And then when she came over here, um, she was getting headaches and stuff. And I don't know whether it was because of the climate and that, you know, it's a lot drier here and cold and stuff like that. But... Uh, something that Filipinos, or at least, oh, I didn't kill him one hit. Um, a common, like, belief, or it's just like, kind of like a thing that is known, is, or to blame on, is if you've got a headache or any illness or a cold, it's dust. Apparently dust is like the main thing that causes most ailments. <laughs> so whenever something something's an issue, it's like, oh, there's dust, that's it, so... See dust? Oh, well, that's why you're real. It's dust there. <laughs> Which is not the case. Oh, at, at all. Um, and I think maybe it's just depending on where you are in the Philippines, there's probably a lot of dust flying about, apparently. Um, but uh, that was just an interesting thing. I was like, oh, dust. Oh, yeah, that thing. Yeah, there you go. Any Filipinos out there? My <laughs> dust. Let's go. No, the Sora is dead. Yeah. KO. Brilliant. Ah, it's good. It's good to. It's good. It's good to be alive. And wrapped. Does it? How many more battles did we get? Thirty is really good, actually. Uh, it was quite overpowered, but you know what? I'll take that. Oh, two more. I'm gonna say two more, but maybe one more. Uh, definitely two more to. We're, we're in hundred percent there. And then let's see what the difference is between this league, which is Predator League, and Dominator League, to win the pack. Because I don't think it's going to change too much. I think it's still going to be less than 1%. Although that less than 1% is probably going to improve a fair bit. Like, we won't be able to see how much. But I think it'll still say less than 1%. And I found my wax, guys. I mean, I, that's, that's what we wanted. I found my wax. Uh, my hair wax. I don't know what. It's not here, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, but I found it downstairs like, yes, it lives. <laughs> I don't have to buy more. The same tub. Oh, dear. Oh, let's check my phone. What have we got? Some new messages here. Uh, oh, well. Not really. Um, I've got my, my phone's telling me to delete 2,500 media files. <laughs> Why? Delete all these. They're useless. They're not useless to me. <laughs> Okay, one hit actually kills it. That's really good. So I'm on my phone there. Well, so are you. I bet you're on the toilet. Concentrate on the toilet. <laughs> Don't fall down it. it. Happened to me once. Bad idea. Bad idea. Also, I need to work out how to get this mic. Because like I said, I've, I've got really, really friggin' good mics. But like better than this. This is a good mic. This is a sure something. It's a, sh it's a sure brand. It, it, it's a very good mic. Um, I'll go for that mic as well. You might have had two block, I don't know. Um, but I do have a Sennheiser, which is like the proper good mic. Um, and I noticed that PewDiePie uses it actually. And I think he uses the same mic stand, um, but the attachment's different because this mic is quite heavy. So it works for this mic, uh, the mic stand itself, which is spring loaded. But the other Sennheiser, I can connect straight to it, but it's so light that as soon as I like let go, because it needs like, like a counterweight. As soon as you let go, it's like whoop. Come back here! <laughs> so I, I need to work out how to like weigh it down. I've seen a couple of YouTubers do it and I I've like Googled it but haven't found it. So I, I do need to contact contact some some people who have it actually. And there we go! Totally top one percent apparently. Um it's <laughs> not the case. But No! Ah! Just just realized just before I clicked it. Hundred DNA. Yes, yes, yes. DNA. Very good, very good. So we're going to go for Alanka, which is Phoenix in Arabic, I think. Do I still remember that? Yeah, I do. I remember. I, I, I remember. I remember back in those days. Oh, God. Three videos a day it was. Jurassic Park Builder. Three videos a day. Who remembers that? Oh, sorry. 
Well, just about build it was. I'm talking about just build the game. It was three videos in a in a day. I memories. <laughs> oh. I, I, I'm excited. I'm excited to see what 2022 brings. It is 2022, yes. Uh, I, I'm ex I mean, every time there's a new movie, um, it, it seemed to have gotten big each time. Like when Jurassic World came out, we only had Jurassic World the game, which turned out to be a really big thing uh, because it was like the first, it was kind of like the revival. It was like, whoa, we get, it was something new. In the, in the medias. And then we had toys, which actually, the toys for Jurassic World were pretty terrible, but have since gone on to become really sought after collector's uh, items, even though the toys themselves are bad. And I think a lot of, I think in like 20 years time, uh, maybe even, yeah, I'd say 20 years time, they are going to go up in price by a lot. Because we're, you're gonna you're gonna see like the nostalgia that you've seen with Pokemon, and I, I said this even when I was unboxing some of them. I was like, this this thing here, it's gonna be worth a lot in the future if you wanted to invest in it at all. Uh, I would I would say. I mean, it's completely up to you. And the thing is also like, especially in England and UK, uh, it was hard to get a hold of Jurassic World toys. The shortages were really bad, and since you know the pandemic for Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Toy shops have been closed. We lost Toys R Us in, our, in you know in this country, in the UK, and I think in a lot of other countries, Toys R Us died. Um, so we've only had one other big toy brand to go to, and that was Smith's. So okay, here we go. I want to get a number one. I, I do want to try to get to number one. So here, don't touch it. Right, less than one percent. In fact, in fact, it, do, it looks exactly the same. The only difference is we have an aquatic pack, I think. That wasn't there before. So, same chances. Same chances of getting the pack. Uh, very rare. It'd be so cool if we did. And it keeps taunting me. One away. One away! Stop taunting me! I know I can't win it, you little boogie -gee. Right, okay. Let's, should we do one? We'll do one more. Um, Indoraptor Gen 2. Indoraptor Gen 2! Let's go! I mean, it's got loads of health. I'm... It's... it's with Tijonga, sorry, you don't need to do anything else. Um, very good team. Very good team matchup. Triceratops killing one hit. And then Sprint Titan and... Ah, yeah. Yeah, this is easy. This is good for me because they're quite high-level dinosaurs. And I've got some very low ones to bring down the average. And remember, your cups is based on your average, I think. That's how it seems to work. Um, because even though my Interruptors, in comparison to their best, my Interruptors, like, really high up. But my work, my other two creatures are really, really, like, really far down. So then it brings the average, and then, like, they're actually, their team's actually stronger than mine. Um, oh, I don't kill it one hit! No! Interruptor Gen 2! You're off! You should have, if it was an Interruptor, it would have. Would have killed it. Um, oh, I'm gonna have to make use of my Toji. Because I don't even kill that in one hit! Bad times. Uh, I'm going to go for one block. I do have sick, like, 7,000 health, which is the difference. Because then he, he's going to take a lot of hits to kill me. And depending on what he does, it, it, we've won. Don't get me, we've won. But it's it's not as straightforward as I want it to be. Uh, how much attack is that? 600. Okay, so we may as well try and kill him. Go for two and kill Yeah, there we go. There we go. I, th I think depending, he might attack. And even if he does, he's got less attack. He's got the third less attack. Um, than the other guy. And we, we put him one. Like, what? Three? Three hits? He's not gonna do it. He's not gonna do it. He's, he's basically done. Yeah, done, son. He's gonna go for it. Oh, he didn't even go for it. And I killed him in one hit. So, I may as well. Do, I mean, worst case scenario, he went for four block. And then I'd be hit by five. And I eat. I don't think that's gonna kill me. So, there we go. Interrupt, gent. You did it, buddy. You're terrible in comparison to your your uh, your twin or whatever you want to call it. But uh, there you go. So keep climbing. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna we will do it. I will unlock it. I will pay attention and make sure I have enough cups. Oh, you see that? It kind of jumped uh, on that prize wheel a lot there. Uh, is there anything that I can get? So reach Dominic. So that's a twenty each. And I think hatch three aquatics. 
within a day? Uh, they are... Uh, the worst I think it can unlock is a super rare, which... Yeah, that's a tall order. Complete all daily missions. So that's... That's actually really easy. Uh, 60 books. Open three car packs. 35 books. And then... So we'll do... Oh, is it, is it just clocked over? Oh, it might have just clocked over because I'm pretty sure I've done three trades. So, and I... I don't know what... Uh, oh. Oh, I guess that's not too bad. Oh, that's horrible. Uh, so we can do that trade. We can do that trade and that trade. So yeah, okay, let's do this. Let's let's do the missions and get all this. So, oh, oh, what does a nine hundred is all? Oh, let's trade that way as well. May as well. There you can. That's three trades. So now we need to do the these guys. Um, where's the coin? This is coin. We need to collect three uh, boosts. So we haven't got the pack. Because I think if you do get the pack... Ooh, Alpha's a good one. Alpha's a really good one. I kind of wish in a way that you could just... Instead of doing it multiple times, you could just do a bit like the lottery and just go 10 spins. Um, and then... Or, you know, kind of bet. Like, you can do it individually and win different things. But if you do 10 at once, you win 10 of whatever you land on. Which would be good if you win a pack. But chances of that is quite low. So there's another two. Uh, what else is it? Spend 400,000 food, I think that is, and open three card packs. Uh, so spend 400,000 food, which isn't too much of an issue. Uh, we can just spend it on a T-Rex, I suppose. Um, and there's another one. Ooh, yep, there you go. Not bad, not bad. And we get some food back for that. Uh, so now it's three aquatics, three different Cenozoics, and open three card packs. Car packs is a little bit tricky. Um, Cause how, I mean, the best way to open a card pack really is to, I mean, we only need two card packs. So what I'm gonna do is, ooh, ooh, this'll be interesting. Cause you've got all these different card packs. So we could watch an advert, um, but don't we have, can't we spend some other resources on some? So 950, oh, it's 50. Oh, that's all books. Ooh. Oh, I'll tell you what we can do instead of spending books on this. So if we, like, 950. What do we get if we get this? Card one, 1,000. And then you get... Ooh! Ah, that's bad! No, no, no! Let's open some of these. Let's go for it. 10,000. 10,000. What do we get? Solid gold. Oh, God, it was awful. <laughs> it was awful. Ooh! That was not a good investment, but 1,300? I guess I'll take it. And another one... Um, we'll spend on this as well. Books, please. 10,000. 10, really, we only spent like 17,000-ish. So there you go. There's two card packs. 35 books. So you do get books. And then Senazo battle and a... Uh, right, okay. We're going to do... We're going to do it so we can win. And the trick is to put in whatever's got the most... Actually, yeah, yeah. It's three different ones, so we'll put in that and that. And then whoever's first, this is how you do it. And I think I did this last time. So you want nullify, and then it's up to you what you pick, but one of these two. I like to switch it up, so an alpha and then a berserk. Um, in fact, actually, I think what you want is the invigorate and then the alpha. So even if your first creature dies, then the next one still has loads of attack. Because if you put it the other way around, it has loads of health, but... It's kind of not that great. You'd rather one attack because at least then you've got more of a chance of just killing it. Uh, unfortunately, terrible tight matchup for the Dacosaur, but we're getting a lot. So we're nullifying whatever it has. Unfortunately, it also gets Invigorate. Ooh. Ooh, that's... Ooh. So it gets an extra 100. Ah, that's... We need to get rid of this creature out first. That's a lot of attack. Uh, and endurance, it gets 35. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. So, if we get hit by two, I think we survive. <sighs> Hold on. No, not that one. I wanted the, uh... No. Which one is it? That's it. <sighs> Guys. We need to think carefully about this. I don't know. Ooh, two. Oh, it went for it! It went for it! It went for it! <laughs> Okay, so I think he's gonna have very little attack. So one, two, 
three kills him. Three kills him. Can we die in two is the question. Can we die in two? I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> You're not going to kill him. Not going to kill him. Oh, yeah, I know. I know. Update. Yeah, you don't have to check. It's, it's cool. It's okay. Just got an update pop up there. We're, we're all good. <laughs> right. Here we go. So we can easily kill him. Uh, oh, look. It kind of tells you what's good against him. Good job, Ludia. That's nice. I didn't even notice that. So I'm going to go for two block here in one reserve because, yeah, chances were he was going to at least block for one and then, you know, he can't kill me in two, so. Safe. It was a safe bet. It was a safe. I like this arena. It's nice. I'm, I'm just kind of sick of seeing the visitor center all the time. Oh, it went for it, though. Oh, cheeky git. Oh, it's brought me below my, my, my normal life now. So that just shows, like, how much of a difference those two modifications actually make. So I think we can do that. Uh, he didn't have anything. And then we're good against the Archelon. So it does get its health increase, but it's only 35. Uh, and it can kill me in two. So it... Oh, I nullify even, so it doesn't even get the health bonus. But I'm probably going to die here. I think. I think I, I it probably will go for me. Yeah, that's fine. I still get the extra attack um, on the Leptoclitus. So I don't get the health, but I do get the extra attack. And with all that... 65 bucks! Buggaroos! Easy taken. And maybe a good prize? A survey says we'll have to find out. Look at him spin. Woohoo! <laughs> it's 1% actually. That's pretty decent that we could get a Roger Steger for doing this. That would be nuts if we did. But I'll happily take. I'll take it. I'll take. You know what? 10 for that. I'll take it. And then finally. Uh, can we do booster for Cenozoic? We can do booster for Cenozoic. Uh, so we'll use Cenozoic creatures. Um, ooh, 40. Let's put Sarcastodon out first. And we'll do exactly the same here. Uh, we'll put out that nullification. I got 99 of those. Um, and I actually have more alphas than I do invigorates. Which is interesting. I mean, it, like, okay, for instance, let's put out two, two friggin' alphas. Because we got loads of them. So now, Sarcastodon, it's not going to have more health, but it will have a thousand extra attack. And because we're so low down, it's going to make a big difference. A freaking big difference. We're probably going to kill things in one hit. So I, I like this. I like just finding new ways to, to, play, to play the game, I guess. So look at that. Oh, no, it's 100 extra. So yeah, look at that. 200 extra attack. Nothing. And I repeat, nothing stands a chance. Shame we don't go first. But it does mean that no matter what happens, we are going to kill it this turn. Well, next turn. So I'll just go for two. I'll go for two. Um, I think he's got the advantage on me. I could be wrong. He did block, so he's only going to have two. No, I've got the advantage. Oh, Lord. <laughs> and whatever attack he had or boot mod, I should say, is nullified. That's the best way to do it. Best, because... I guess you could have Toxin. Like, if you come up against something with Toxin in the team, that could be pretty bad because you can't nullify that. Yeah, you, I, the only way to guarantee that you're going to mess the other team up is to mess up yourself, and that's Shuffle. Um, and that's a legendary one. And you don't really want to do the legendaries on a low thing like this, where the prizes are kind of swingy. You could get something good. You could get something bad. Bad being coin. Good being a freaking Roger Stager. <laughs> oh, fuck! No! You killed my bear! Why? Why did you kill my bear? Allows the theorem will come in though, and he'll kill you! Ha ha ha! Oh, tough skin! Does that mean he nullifies one of them? And it means he dies. So. Nothing. <laughs> and again, don't know how it can lift itself on its back legs. So there we go! We've done all the daily missions. Uh, multiples, because I think we unlocked some before. Uh, we've, 20! 20 super DNA? I'll take it. It's pretty decent. Claim, claim, and claim. So that is a lot of books, and of course the guaranteed books in here, 55, and a cooler sutures. I remember cooler sutures, but I got excited seeing that thing. That was like, oh, cooler sutures. I remember back in the day, that was like a big thing. You got cooler sutures. Yes, that's good. Um, so we did that. Um, we just need to open 15 car packs. Which is a tall ask, and that's the next one that's a hundred nod. But 
that is going to have to wrap up this video today. Uh, we will make another one shortly because we'll be unlocking Dianonicus. And with 8,000 bucks, maybe we'll be able to, you know, make it straight away. We do have the instant fuses, which again, isn't free, but it's better. I uh, know the freeze, the, sorry, the instant fuses are, the instant hatches aren't free, um, but they are a lot cheaper. So we'll see. We might be able to do it. Uh, we might not. I'll just, it depends, again, like, how lucky we can get on this. Apparently, we got some new things. Do we get some new things? It said we had some new things, but uh, nothing good there. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you babies later. Uh, bye bye